I'm the owner. Came up off the corner. Shouldn't be alive, man. My life should be over. Used to have a dope in the drugs, the rover. Now I'm doing big things, man. I'm a owner. I'm the owner. Business mind of a businessman with a business plan. Trying to own some land. Pass it down to my grands. What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionette. You know the truth speaker, the guy that makes everybody mad, especially black women. Now, man, I tell you, boy, in the black community, there is no black women are never held accountable. They have a bunch of kids they can't take care of, and they have a bunch of babies, and they don't know who the father are. The welfare system takes care of them. They could put men on child support and find out he's not the father, and guess what? Nothing happens to the woman. They could falsely accuse men, throw them in jail, and guess what? Nothing happens to the woman. Women can do all kinds of things. And society pays for them, whether it's welfare, child support, whether it's simps, sugar daddies. Everybody pays for the irresponsibility of black women. This woman named Shania Bell received over $165,000. She's getting close to almost a quarter of a million dollars. In donations after leaving her kids in the motel room. And I'm about to check to see if she almost got a quarter of a million now because it keeps going up. It was just 100000 the other day. Now, I'm going to read this. The, Shania Bell, the mother, is facing child endangerment charges. She left her daughters alone in a motel to go to work, has received 165000 in GoFundMe money. Now, somebody tell me. Somebody tells me this. Women keep having babies by different men. By no good men, and they keep having them, and none of these children can go stay with their fathers. This is always the case in the black community, because black women are very sexually irresponsible. They sleep with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that give them attention, and we're supposed to give them a pass for their irresponsible, uh, their irresponsible behavior. This is sick. Now... She leaves her daughter nine, nine years old and three in Motel 6. Oh, my God. One of the most horrible hotels. The children's fathers alerted the police. Wow. That the girls were left alone and Shania was arrested. Wow. So the fathers found out. Mm, I just asked where the fathers were. So they found. So basically, you got some women try to keep the babies from the father. Mm. So somehow they found out. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. Now, she had the nerve to say, what kind of father does that? <laughs> oh, my God. Now, she, he, now the fathers is wrong for alerting the police, right? He, they're wrong. She's not wrong for leaving the kids in there. They're wrong for calling the police. There's never any accountability among black women. Should I explain she could not afford for child care? What? Okay, it's your fault you had babies you could not take care of. It's your fault. So she did the best she could in the situation. Always an excuse. Y'all have babies that you cannot take care of all the time. You always have babies y'all can't take care of. Always have babies. Y'all don't wait till you're financially stable to have babies. You don't focus on a career, a business, a good paying job. Money saved up. They don't do that first. They open their legs and, and have sex with everybody, have babies, and look at society to take care of them. She says, my kids bring me joy. They make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never do anything to harm my kids. Well, you just did. You just put your kids in jeopardy. Stupid. That's all I do is go to work and take care of my kids. That's all I do. That's what you're supposed to do. You're a mother. You shouldn't get a, a, a kudos for that. My, do my daughter decided that she wanted to stay here. My daughter told me, what? That this is where she wants to be. And I felt she was old enough. To, she, she, oh my God. She was old enough to stay with her sisters for a few hours because my job is right down the street. It doesn't matter if your job's right down the street, ma'am. Your daughter's nine. She cannot defend herself. Period. There's a lot of sickos and weirdos out here. She can't defend herself. I never set blame on anything. On it. I never set blame on anybody for anything. Because at the end of the day, nobody left my kids in the hotel but me. So I guess she's trying to take accountability. I cried a couple of times since this marriage. Since this, I'm sorry. She said I cried a couple of times since this situation started. 
Well, I know she's trying to get, well, she's going to get, well, she's just trying to get sympathy. I'm just trying to keep a level head and stay strong because that's all I can do. A lot of people are saying hurtful things, but a lot of people are, are also being there for, uh, the truth is going to hurt, stupid. I didn't ask for that, but people gave it to me. I'm just overappreciated. Black women, people always give you stuff. You always get passes. You always, you get away with stuff you do. Y'all, y'all always get passes. Y'all can have as many babies as you want. The, child, the system will take care of y'all. Go fund me and take care of y'all. Somebody will always pay for your irresponsible behavior. Everybody pays. Society, everybody. Taxpayers, everybody has to pay for y'all. So I know you're used to it. I get it. I'm your boy Zillion. This is crazy. So I can't wait to see uh, some more of these women get, get hundreds of thousands of dollars and um, for, apps for being horrible mothers. Black women get paid to be horrible mothers. Blows my mind. They get paid for it. You be a bad mother, you get paid for it. She should not have received a dime. She should have lost her two children and put in a safe place where they're protected, loved, and taken care of. I don't know why these kids can't go stay with their fathers. Now, your fathers, y'all calling the police, and what about them staying with y'all? Y'all know she's a piece of... If y'all know she's a piece of trash baby, mo baby mother, y'all piece of trash baby fathers, period. Disgusting. Children should stay with her. She shouldn't got a dime. She should. She deserved to be these charges. She deserved all these charges, and she deserves to, to to not have her children and not to have one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars in her account for being a disgusting piece of trash, irresponsible mother, the troop speaker, the guy that pisses everything everybody off. These women are gonna get money like like I mean they are just rewarding. In the black community, we're rewarding black women for their disgusting behavior. They're getting praise for being whores, thoughts. They're getting praise. They're getting money for being disgusting women. They're getting praise for committing crimes. This blows my mind. You have black women in college. You have black women who are trying to, who are trying to do right things with their life, and they're struggling. But the black women who are disgusting, foul mothers and horrible people, they get all the money. They get all the rewards for their disgusting behavior. It blows my mind. It really does. You think they would give this to a struggling black woman who, man, you think they would give this to a woman that couldn't pay her college tuition? I bet you a, a black woman that couldn't pay her college tuition couldn't get a dime. I bet you a black woman trying to do a startup, a starter up business and ask people to donate, they wouldn't give a dime. They wouldn't give them a dime. But when you're a disgusting, foul, piece of trash, black mother or black woman, you get paid for it. And I guess women are starting to find out that, you know what, I could get paid for being a horrible mother. I can get paid and make excuses and cry in front of the camera like Gorilla Glue Girl and all these other women. This is the new scam now. This is the new scam. Being a horrible mother, I get paid for it. I'm your boy Zillion. Put your thoughts in the comments. The truth speaker, the guy that makes everybody mad. I'm out of here. I'm the owner, came up off the corner, shouldn't be alive, man, my life should be over, used to have a dope in the drugs, the rover, now I'm doing big things, man, I'm a owner, I'm the owner, business mind of a businessman, with a business plan, trying to own some land, passing down to my grandkids.